Alrighty, folks, what is going on today, folks? We, uh, I don't know why I said that twice, but yes, I am finally back after my two week quote unquote asterisk um, break that I was supposed to be taking from YouTube, which I took a three week break. But hopefully you guys, you know, not are not too upset with me. And uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. And if you do enjoy the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Click on that to support the channel. And if you want to go a step further, you can also donate to the channel using the links below. But yeah, um, we are back. Hope everybody had a good break, good Thanksgiving break. And if you don't celebrate, I hope you just had a great uh, week in general and stuff like that. So I hope you guys did enjoy all that. And uh, yeah, man, let's just hop straight into it. YCS Pasadena. Uh, a couple things I want to say. Um, the first one pertaining to YCS Pasadena, I did not, and I repeat, I did not know so many people were prepared for that FTK deck. I really didn't. I really didn't expect it because everybody was talking about how this was unstoppable and all this extra shit. And everybody and their mama prepared for the uh, FTK deck. And I'm pretty sure in top 32, everybody was playing at least five hand traps or more. Don't quote me on that. I believe it was and it was it it was very sickening and if you guys have watched this channel before if you guys have listened to any stories that i've told um regarding this current uh, phase of Yu-Gi-Oh, hand traps hurt me uh i always get it every time it just does not matter i got hand trapped every only there's only one match i did not get hand trapped that's just how Yu-Gi-Oh is and that's just how my luck is i play against hand traps every time um, usually on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro, you don't really see that, so that's why to, that's why y'all get to see mostly um, uh, uh, blitz, like I'll be blitzing people and shit like that. But for the most part, when I do play tournaments, I get hit with hand traps, something vicious, and that's why I try to build my decks to play around hand traps. And that's what pretty much this deck is all about. Um, Forty-one, I try to get it as consistent as possible. Ugh. Try to get it as consistent as possible, and um, basically able to combo off i did put the foolish back in the one for one those are just like hand trap baiters um because i'm trying to bait I'm, like i said i'm trying to bait my opponent out trying to pretty much do that but uh, i did not account for droll i thought people phased out droll but um since the fdk was you know pretty much really prevalent everybody's played droll and droll usually doesn't hurt this deck but when you're trying to start your combo droll hurts the shit out of this deck because you can't use your, you can't spam goblin zombie and it's it gets bad so yeah man it's 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 horrible so yeah i got drolled a couple times and pretty much lost the game from there and then another thing i want to say is man look at all the zombie quote unquote zombie decks that are showing out that are showing out and topping everywhere folks i know there was a german one that got first place in his regional um shout out to that guy he's playing a mortal control build which i think that's i think that's where i want to go now um i do like the vindreds and stuff like that but damn if people are going to be main in droves i can't play i can't really rely on the rituals even though it's very very fucking oh it's so powerful and it's so fun to play this deck droll really fucking hurts when you're trying to start the whole combo off and pretty much um with 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 the uh control version like the guy guy from germany was playing Droll really doesn't hurt you. It really doesn't hurt the deck, but I mean, it hurts every combo deck. But you know, it's just, it's just hor. You know, it's just horrifying to play against, and uh, it, it 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 just fucking it just takes the fun out of the deck. But like I said, I, I'm trying to make this deck work. But like I said, I, I can't play around hand traps. Call of the Grave needs to go back to three immediately. Maybe make a special rule, have it at four. I don't know, but damn it, man, hand traps really fucking hurt. But yeah um droll is a jerk he got first place in germany there's also two that i've seen today as, as a recording of this i've seen joe bogley's version and i've also seen another guy who got second place um he was also playing he was playing 60 cards though um and i knew this was gonna happen so i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys to hold on real quick all right so where were we we were talking about the um yeah joe bogley he got, I don't know what place he got. Uh, I think he topped eight because he's seen him on the mat unless that was just already his mat. And then, yeah, the guy with 60 cards, he he also uh, played, I guess, Dark Warrior Zombies. That's what we're going to call it. Um, but, yeah, man, shout out to everybody playing the zombie deck, man. Um, and I, I know what a lot of people are going to say. Well, technically, they're not zombie decks. And, I, you know, I agree with you guys. But it is zombies, I guess, being used. So, you know, uh, shout outs to everybody. You know, hey, I, I'm, I'm fine with it. I just wanted the recognition that zombies deserve because we're a powerful deck. 
and you know as they'll tell you that you know it's it's it's, it's a very good engine and doom king is fucking amazing um i don't know why i mean i guess the reason i mean i don't know joe bogley's doing double trigate i don't even know how the fuck to do that i mean i'm pretty sure i can but jesus christ that he plays Ibley. I don't play Ibley. I took Ibley out because of Zombie Master. It is I I don't know. You guys will see it in my duels. I mean you're probably already watching them right now. But yeah, shout outs to all of them. They're all playing the Armageddon Knight. And yes, and, and and one thing I would like to say, dangers are fucking amazing. And there's no way to curb that. Now, I know what you guys are gonna say. Whoa, well, I man, listen, dangers are a fucking excellent, excellent addition to any deck because they're free draws and they're free monsters and we're playing a link deck that shit helps out tremendously and am i going to play dangerous probably not but i'm just saying it is a very good i guess very good option but yeah man the armageddon knight uh it, the armageddon knight version of zombies like quote unquote zombies it like i you know like i said in my original video yes it's it's if you're stream if you want to streamline pretty much if you want to play, I guess, I would say that's the most competitive version because that doesn't get hurt by draw as this deck does. Um, but like I always say, which a lot of people, and I've seen it in the second place guy's uh, profile, he said, if you Ash Armageddon Knight, you're bad. No, sir. If you Ash Armageddon Knight, you can't play. Like, Or if I Ash the Mally, you can't, like you, you most likely cannot do any more combos because what they're trying to do is just go straight into an old and then basically go off from there and if i can stop you from going to old, you can't play the game and dangers none, none of your dangers are going to make like none of the dangers are warriors so you're not getting to any old but i think that's why they play reaper Re, Re, uh, whatever that shit is called reaper Docus, so they can you know i guess make a warrior i guess no wait no no that doesn't make sense no 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 yeah it but that's that's my that's my only issue. It's not really an issue, but this is the reason why I don't play Armageddon dot decks no more. I just play them for fun. I don't play them competitively because I get hit with hand traps, folks. When I play competitively, hand traps hit me, and I always I will always like I swear, I was started off three zero. I started off three zero with fucking Link Hero Warrior round four. Got hit with a hand trap and that was it. And then like after that, it was just if I if I you don't go first and you get hit with a hand trap you pretty much can count that deck out and then also um this has really nothing to do with it but the ban list which is probably not going to be coming for another week um after this video and this was recorded saturday but probably a week after this you guys even see this video which is on monday armageddon night is most likely getting probably put to one i would give you guys my uh ban list prediction tuesday yeah fuck it let's go tuesday um, but yeah, man, so what, 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 all, at the end of the day, zombies are doing things in the damn meta and I'm proud. I really hope Mizuki doesn't get hit and I really hope fucking Goblin Zombie doesn't get hit because they're not the problems. All right. It's Armageddon Knight and Mally and all them. They're the problems. Don't, don't, don't ban us. We didn't do shit. They're just adding us. It's the same thing with Gokis. It's the same thing with, uh, Orcus or what the fuck they're called Orphigels. Like they, if you guys really look at the deck list, they're literally just replacing five monsters, which it would be the five Gokis in a rematch <laughs> with fucking Dark Warrior. So you take the five Gokis and you put a Goblin Zombie, Triple Mizuki, Banshee, and Doom King. That's six. So you, like I said, this it's not it's not a it's not a very creative deck. It's just literally Dark Warrior, which is the best engine right now. Just like back in the day when Plants used to be the best engine, and uh, what was after that? Like Brilliant Fusion used to be the best engine. You'll just throw Brilliant Fusion and then you'll put whatever deck you want to play and then you'll get to where you need to get. But like I said, if you play Triple Armageddon Knight, Triple Dark Griefer, Couple of Dangers, and you throw any six variation of cards in the deck, you will have a consistent deck that can play against the meta because it plays around the basically the worst, the basically the strongest hand trap right now is Droll and it plays around that, but it does not play around Ash, which a lot of people are cutting um surprisingly they're not really playing too many ashes in the main deck uh yeah so that's pretty much why that deck really has a lot of success um but folks we're still going to be playing this all right because man yeah because i, I just want to play this version i, I don't want to play the armageddon Knight version I, I don't have too much good luck but yeah anyways let's hop straight into the ycs review i did have a lot of fun folks um, and we're going to be basically get into it starting off with round one. I played against sky strikers 
and I lost that one two one round one uh, game one I forgot to shuffle my deck before I started playing so when you write down your deck list and you write out and you basically separate all your monsters and you spell them the traps and then you give it a, a good like two or three shuffles and shit is still clumped that's what happened open up two slayers and a pre prep couldn't play that's okay end up losing that one game two mambo combo because you know my deck starts to work game three uh, it got down to the wire I had a twin twister for only two live back row because I knew where he put him because he wasn't using them all game and then everything else he was setting I knew what he drew because he was using a field card not knew what he drew but I knew he was adding to his hand because he was using a field card so um, drew into a ritual spell twin switches ba back to proceed to go off believe I got hit with impermanent ghost reaper ash and droll I think I got hit with all four of those in one turn and that's pretty much spell the end of anybody i don't think i got i got hit with three i don't know if it was ash but i got hit with three and um yeah man it's it's very tough when you don't have the triple call by the grave in your hand so and then uh also still could have killed him after that but did not have uh what's the name did not have enough time it was like a minute left and i had to think about how to do damage and he was reading all my cards so yeah um that's pretty much how i lost game uh round one Round two was against Invoked. Um, I didn't know I was playing Invoked. Started off with a, a young pre-prep, got Ash. I said, okay, I have another pre-prep game. You know, I can survive one more turn. Boral Sword, Makaba kills me. Game two, I believe I let him go first. Did I? No, no, I go first. Summon Solitaire, Tribute, Ash. Okay, go ahead. He ends, I think he set the monster. Ends his turn. Um, I don't have, I can't, I can't do anything because I have a Mizuki in my hand. No, no, I think I summoned Solitaire again. He ashes me, he ashes me again. So I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh, I can't do shit after that. So I set Evolution like a dummy. Uh, forgetting I'm playing Invoked. He flips his uh, he flips his uh, Alistair. I ash it. He special summons the Mech Knights. And then Boar Souls Macabre me for game. Yeah, man. It's just a quick, 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 uh, quick O2 to start to fucking uh, YCS off. I'm already down under the dunce. I'm thinking, well, yeah, I'm definitely going to lose. And, you know, I, I, I started thinking... I'm definitely going to lose a game round three or round four. Um, and if I don't lose, no, what I was saying is if I, if I don't lose, if I don't lose round four, no, no, and I was saying, no, okay, well, let me just continue. So I'm down in the dumps. I'm like, all right, well, this ain't going to, you know, end good. But then I thought about it. Well, if you, if I'm X2, everybody I'm playing is X2 or worse. So I'm thinking, all right, I'm going to be playing people that are not, you know, playing meta decks or, you know, Hopefully, just hopefully the people that did not play meta decks and were just playing to play, and um, hopefully not the people with bad luck, like they just didn't draw good. So, round three, I ended up playing against ne uh, Necroz, cool guy. Me and him chatted, played a couple more games after the match. Um, I go, I didn't open up particularly too good. I didn't open up the combo. I believe I ended on a Slayer because no, no I was trying to get places. And I ended on a Slayer. He ends up going Trish, Valkyris with the Devi Rituals and Summons Manju. Hits me with 7,000. And I'm thinking, all right, yo, this, this is not my damn. I'm, I'm just going to lose. End up drawing into a zombie. And I end up OTKing him from there. Um, basic, and then, um, let me see. What is my phone saying? All right. Um, and then uh, game two, he starts. He goes first. Ends his turn. I'm like, okay, well. I, I, I'm not gonna be able to let you live and you know pretty much uh, pretty much OTK them right there uh, But like I said a cool guy if you're watching this video shout out to you, man I forgot your name, but shout out to you. You know who you are you playing necros and I was playing zombies And we played a couple more matches after that, you know, he was cool and stuff like that he, He's been playing a deck. He's like man. I can't wait for sure to come off the list I'm like man. I was so scared when you dropped that trace I was like yeah, this is game over and uh, yeah, man He was just a decisive armor away from killing me which was, uh, ooh, that was scary. But, you know, getting my confidence back up. And I'm like, all right, you know, I, you know, I'm, I'm back in. I'm back in to do the thing. So, round four, I play against BA. And I grew great game one. I mean, once I go, if I start, man, I'm, I'm starting. I think I got Ash, but I still, I still went off. Because, like I said, man, one hand trap, most of the time, like 90% of the time, if you have one hand trap, I'm going to loop your five. And if you have two hand traps, you get in loop plus four. And if you have three hand traps, I'm probably going to quit. Or if I don't have that great of hand, you know, I'm going to lose to a hand trap or two. Um, but, yeah, he hits me. I think he hits me with a hand trap. Yeah, he ashes me. And then I just go off from there. Um, game two, he fucks up majorly. 
um when he's trying to kill me he, he goes boral sword but then summons libic again and he already used libic earlier that turn and then i end up coming back from there um so i end up winning that one once again another chill guy um he, he you know shout out to you i forgot your name as well um i don't remember anybody's name who i played but shout out to you you got you know who you is uh my guy went to go party out on the town um round five i think i played against altar guys i want to say altar guys he's the round five or round six i played against altar guys i go first he tries to hit me with ash call by the grave and you guys already know what happened from then on out game two he goes um i have ash basically i have the counter to all of this i started in twin twisters and stuff like that and i pretty much won from there because you know he didn't have secrets village you know usually when i play altar guys you know i i, I lose the secret village and then round six, I, I forgot what I played. Dude, round five or round six, I forgot what I played. I, I do not remember. Um, I'm trying to think about it. Let me let me let me give a good ten seconds, and I'm gonna try to think what I played. Um, I really can't. I really can't remember. Um, round six. What happened in round six? Let's see what that. I really don't know what the hell I played. Let me see if it's in my phone. Let me check my phone. I don't. I don't remember what I played for some reason. I wrote. I wrote most of them down. I wrote most of them down. Let me see. Where did I stop at? I literally wrote down round five, and I. <laughs> I wrote down round five, and I didn't write what the fuck I played. That's crazy. Um, I don't remember what I played. Do not remember. But yeah, I end up winning that one. Um, and then round seven, play against no no no. Yeah, round seven I play against Goki. Game one, I do I do me. Game two, he does him. Round three, um, I start my combo, get to Battle Lord, activate the effect, he change Reaper. I'm like, that's fine. I'm still able to pretty much loop i'm pretty able to gumbury for two and end on a, a, a doom king so you know he I, i'm able to pretty much win the game because i have zombie world you can't go he's old if you go phoenix i can just negate it if you go armageddon knight i can negate it if you have mally in your graveyard i can banish it all this stuff but halfway through the combo and i'm sitting there like i'm thinking in my head i'm thinking i know you guys seen that meme where it says don't do it don't do it and i'm thinking in my head get globe get bloom get bloom get bloom like off of goblins i mean get bloom get bloom get bloom doing my combo still going not searching bloom for some odd fucking reasons doing it whole play get to the part of the combo where i want to special summon a uh, bloom because he, he reaper my firewall so i'm not able to you know i don't have too many special summons so i'm thinking all right where's the bloom where's the bloom end up searching gozuki for some odd reason i'm like oh fuck i don't have bloom so end up fucking up taking an extra two or three minutes to figure to get to a bloom and special summon it and go off from there that extra two to three minutes end up benefiting him because as soon as he went for his turn time was called and all he had in his hand was octo stretch he had an octo stretch rota and droll and uh something else basically all his only play was armageddon night he was not winning i was i clearly had that game and that pretty much spelled the end of my theme because x21 virtually is impossible to, uh, to top 32 so after that point i'm like well i mean i guess i could just play the day two and just you know see how close i can get and then round eight um all day i was saying that he's gonna lose round five or round eight and uh, round eight came around and no oh, they heard me he, he fucking heard me literally he starts off with great hand i start off with a great hand he does his plays so i'm basically i bait out his his far foot his hand trap all that so he has beatrice and all i'm thinking all right i still managed to get to a sucker i'm like all i need to do i have a ritual spell i said all i need to either draw something i can send something i can send i basically I either draw a ritual pre-prep anything like that anything to get me to a ritual and i'm going to kill this man draw off the sucker i draw the fucking what i draw i think i drew pre-prep or i drew a ritual one of the two and i'm like you're about to lose he said after resolution draw okay let's go to game two let's not waste time i told you guys i don't waste time i duel to duel if i don't have anything i'm not gonna stall only only play only people i don't scoop against which i probably should have scooped against a lot earlier is sky strikers because they cannot kill you 
they cannot kill you that game one if you know you're you, you're at a disadvantage you probably should scoot but they cannot kill you in one or two turns it, it takes about four it takes about five to six turns to kill you so i never scoop against sky strikers because i know it's always just that one time i if i resolve battle lord game is over um so i'm like all right we'll go to game two i'll just you know loop pretty much get your hand and pretty much win from there um i believe i go first and um what do i do i think i try to do something i think i get ashed something happens where i cannot complete the combo turn one he goes he sets up his board and i'm like all right well i i, I can kill him still uh once again bait out his fire and shit i go to fucking i draw off the sucker i haven't committed my normal summon and so i haven't committed my normal summon um i uh go sucker and i special summon a zombie out of his graveyard or a droll lock bird not droll lock bird ash or some shit out of his graveyard special summon it draw draw a goblin zombie and so i'm thinking this game is fucking over because i want to normal summon this game. it's over because i'm going summon sorcerers i'm targeting i'm i'm beating you this turn draw the card that's a resolution draw i'm like oh my god <laughs> I'm like, oh, yes, I can't even, I can't do nothing. Now I can't, I'm not going to stall. I can't do anything. I know I can't, I know I can't get the victory. And that's pretty much what happened. Um, and yeah, man, end up uh, going X3-1. Um, hold on real quick, folks. Uh, how do we spell teriyaki? Um, so yeah, that pretty much ended up happening. I didn't, like I said, I did not expect so many people to be heavenly playing for the FTK. And yeah, man, I just got shitted on by Reaper. Uh, Reaper really didn't hurt, but Droll fucking hurts. Droll hurts at the right time when you're halfway through the combo. And that's why, what's the name? Um, that's why fucking, like I said, man, that's why... Armageddon Knight does good because people took out Ash and put in Droll. And Droll doesn't hurt that deck because they can still do all their combos through a Droll. But with this deck, you, you kind of need for them not to have Droll. Um, uh, but yeah, so that was that. All in all, I did have a lot of fucking fun though. I did have a lot of fun. And then another thing which I did not fucking know is you guys are still here. Why, bro, why did nobody tell me the side events were so lucrative? Cause I'm I'm sitting here thinking that why the hell do you want to win a giant card, and then it turns out them motherfuckers is worth money, and I'm thinking holy shit this whole time I've been sitting here on side events attacking the giant cards I'm sitting here just just oh why are they doing that did it bro they're worth they're worth some money and yeah I got a whole bunch of German cards anyways like I said man uh, I didn't do so good in the well in 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 the tournament but I I I don't know I don't know what to chalk that up to because. I didn't draw bad. Only drew bad probably. I drew bad once. I know that the first game I drew bad because I mean, and I really wasn't even a bad hand. It's just I drew two slayers. If I didn't draw, if I did, if I drew Battle Lord and Slayer, I would have won. Um, but yeah, man, I, I don't know. Um, hopefully, the, the the duels you guys are seeing behind, you know, behind on the video right now is not too bad. But yeah, man, there's a couple of changes I would make to the deck. Um, Zombie World would probably go to one. I did draw that a little too many times. One for one didn't do shit. Um, yeah, I think those two would get cut. Um, and I would probably, I'd probably just main Twin Twisters because Twin Twisters is an amazing card. And playing against Sky Strikers and Alter Guys and shit, it's just an amazing card. And if, and if not, if you're not playing against any of those decks, you can easily just side those Twin Twisters out. And I feel like it's better going in with Twin Twisters than siding them in because. You know, Sky Strikers are really re uh, prevalent, and then when you get towards the top table, that's what you start playing. But yeah, man, all in all, you know, I, I did have a lot of fun, and you know, I wouldn't like I said, those are probably the only two changes I would make to the deck. Um, two Zombie World is just, I'm just too cautious. That's, I think that's my problem. I just, it's just too cautious, and that's how I build my decks. I build my decks just in case when I shouldn't. I just have to build it for consistency's sake, and that's what I tried to do by playing 41. But 41 does not work for me well. But you know, I had fun. Uh, and yeah, man, we're I'm gonna still I'm gonna still play this deck and I'm gonna still get to places. I didn't play no Thunder, which was weird. 
Um, oh, no, no. That was my round six. Dinos. I played against a dino deck and Zombie World is, yeah. Zombie World is the business. Um, but yeah, I didn't play against the dino. Uh, that's what that's what fuck my round six was. Dinos. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. That, I, I gave him, yeah, yeah. He couldn't do shit. Um, but yeah, man. All in all, man, it was, it was just a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Like I said, we're gonna build on this deck. Um, I don't know how to. I don't know how to play against round a round draw. Maybe I should main Gamus instead of Ashes. I think that might be the better. You know, I think that might be the best way to do that. You know, just just to play the deck. You know what? That's, that's what the fuck I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut a zombie world. I'm gonna main these Gammas because Gamma is amazing. And I'm gonna take out the Ashes and put those in the side deck. I'm not playing Pranker Tops anymore because that shit came in absolutely none at all. The one for one goes out. Um, why does Sir? Well, come on now, what's going on here? Um, the one for one goes out, right? Where's the one for one? There you go. Cut the one for one. Um, Pranker Tops goes out. Um, Twin Twisters go into the. I said I was gonna main those, right? So, yeah, man. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys did enjoy the background duels. I hope you guys did enjoy my video. If you guys, like I said, man, always, if you guys do enjoy this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Click an ad to help support the channel. Um, and uh, yeah, man, just uh, we'll build on it. Uh, you guys let me know how you guys did at your tournaments. And yeah, man, we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. Anyways, signing out. That is it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow with my ban list predictions.